Hello everyone, I'm Brittany. And I'm Charmaine. And we are the, the Complex, Complex Girls. Girls. Thank you for tuning into this video. Current inspirations. Current, we have some. We have some current, we have inspirations, some current inspirations. inspirations. That we wanted to show with you all. So if you are interested to see what we have been into lately, then just keep on watching. So the first inspiration that I wanted to talk about is this book by Heyman Sunin, and it's called The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down. Mm -hmm. And I really like this book because it, it kind of broke things down in a means of um, what mindfulness is and what it means. And I just thought that he was very clear and very concrete on how you can conquer um, anxiety, how you can conquer um, negative thoughts um and i i feel like this book came to me at the right time because i was feeling a lot of those anxious feelings mm -hmm. um so i wanted to read just a quick excerpt that i really liked and i highlighted it for myself to keep in mind so it says um when your mind is joyful and compassionate the world is too when your mind is filled with negative thoughts the world appears negative too when you feel overwhelmed and busy, remember that you are not powerless. When your mind rests, the world also rests. So I thought that was just Woo! a really good quote, you know, just Knowledge. to conquer negative thoughts, to conquer um, anxiety is really about your mind and how yeah. you control those, those, um, those thoughts that just come to you randomly. But there's a, there's definitely a way for you to be more mindful and be more conscious of those those feelings that you're having. Mm -hmm. So my first inspiration is a person, a musician, Janae Aiko. I love me some Janae Aiko. If you haven't heard her new album, Trip, it's, it's so, so good. good. It's just, it has a storyline too. Like there's a like a video kind of like I don't know documentary yeah it's thing. like a short film yeah like a short mm -hmm. film that kind of goes along with it so I've just always really loved Janae Aiko ever since I heard about her I think I started listening to her in college mm -hmm. and I just I really love the storyline of Trip because it's about um, her brother who passed away from cancer mm -hmm. and kind of just the emotions and different things that she was going through through that process and it's so relatable to me because we've had family members pass away that that's just one of the hardest things you could go through because yeah. it's like understanding death and trying to not make it scary but make it kind of like a I don't know like it's life yeah it is. you know like yeah. it's life so I think that while listening to her music and and really vibing with her sounds i mean all her songs on the album are so great i really love um uh when we love oh yeah that was good. yeah frequency yeah those yeah, are my so favorite good. um while we're young is great too mm -hmm. so i'll definitely link the songs that i'm loving from her in the description box so you all can take a listen so the next inspiration that I had to talk about is this book called Tiny Beautiful Things Advice on Love and Life from Dear Sugar by Cheryl Strayed. And this is actually, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mass amount of different stories in one book. So Dear Sugar is actually from a, an advice column. Mm -hmm. So it's people writing to her um, about different things that are happening in their lives, whether I don't know infidelity or uh, abuse, domestic abuse. So it's um it's very real, it's very raw, and it just kind of made me feel more like wow, like people are actually like going through real hard times, and it mm -hmm. just made me kind of center myself on on my beliefs on love and my beliefs on relationships and family, and I. I think it just kind of put things into perspective because these people are so open and honest with themselves and their stories. Um, so I just, I really recommend this book and also the other one I mentioned because it, it I think it's good to kind of learn things from other people's perspectives because it, it kind of takes you out of your own world of like what you think, you know, a real problem is or in a sense, I think it, 
just kind of humbles you and it makes you grateful for what you do have. Um, so I thought I really recommend this book. I really enjoyed reading the different stories and I think I'm gonna read it again just to really soak it in. <laughs> So for my last inspiration, it is meditation. <laughs> I've been meditating since I graduated, or I think my last year of college I kind of started, um, but I kind of started to learn more about it after college because I had a little bit more time to kind of learn like what practices work for me. And I've been loving uh, meditations on YouTube. So there's a lot of meditations that I look at. One of my favorite ones that I like to listen to before bed is the Love Frequency. Love. <laughs> it's 528 hertz. So basically it's kind of like, it's not like a, someone talking, it's more of like a beat, which mm -hmm. are kind of like binary beats, which are beats that slow your brain waves and actually like can repair your DNA. So if you're kind oh. of like, if you've kind of had different things that you've dealt with throughout your life, you can listen to binaural beats as you're going to sleep and it'll kind of like slowly kind of activate while you're sleeping your subconscious and kind of repair different things that you could be going through, whether it's like stress or negative thinking. I've done a lot of meditations on negative thinking, um, stress, anxiety, um, Positive there's thinking. a lot. There's yeah, a lot. there's meditations on everything, mm -hmm. like literally everything. And I think the thing that I really love about meditations is it's a way to calm your mind. So kind of like what Brittany was saying from her book, like about mindfulness. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even just living in LA, it's so crazy <laughs> like exactly. all the time. Like yeah. we just need to go to the store to get groceries, but we have to go on this street and there's traffic and then you have to turn and then someone's talking at you. And I'm like, <laughs> ah, like there's just so much going on. Yeah. But when you can kind of just calm down, be in your center, listen to some meditations. I love doing it before bed. It just really just rests your mind and kind of prepares you for that next day. So I'm not bringing the anxiety and stress that I might have had the day before. Um, I can do a meditation and that really calms me down and prepares me for the next day. Mm -hmm. So I really love doing meditations. It's been like my main way to de-stress. Mm. So thank you all so much for tuning into this video. We love sharing our current inspirations. So yeah. let us know in the comments below if you have any current inspirations. Mm -hmm. We'd love to know. We'd love to vibe with y'all. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in them comments. And also, we wanted to mention, we have a lot of different videos that we do on our channel. Yeah. And <laughs> we'd love to know like, what y'all like to see from us. Yes. So we're gonna make a poll mm -hmm. on this video. In the cards. In the cards the to corner. where you can click, like, do you wanna see more fashion? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna see talking videos, vlogs, mm -hmm. styling, whatever it is, we'll make those different um, sections. Mm -hmm. Cause we really wanna hear from y'all what y'all are enjoying on our channel. Mm -hmm. Channel, but <laughs> we really wanna know what y'all are enjoying on our channel and what you'd like to see more. Mm -hmm. So please, please, please do the poll. Or you can leave a comment below too. Yeah, or comment. And kind of let sure. us know yeah. what, what videos y'all really like from us. Yes. And if you want to keep up with us, we are at The Complex Girls on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and, and here, here on YouTube. YouTube. Join the fam. Join the fam. If you dig in our content, we love y'all. We love making content for y'all. And we're just, we're really excited for the new year. I know. It's going to be really cool. We have a lot of fun stuff planned. Yeah, we have a lot of fun stuff planned. A lot of fun content. Yes. So that's why we want to see what y'all are vibing with. So we can like kind of have a plan of yeah. what we want to do next year. Yeah. Because so. it came so fast, yeah. right? It's super fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all again for watching this video. Yes. Thank you. And until next time, we'll see you in our next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.